what's your name, sir? William Brinkless. Uh, how old are you, William? Uh, 55. How long have you been homeless? Two years. And why can't you find somewhere to stay? They just want to find me nowhere. I've tried. Are you a local man? Yeah, yeah. Homelessness is not a crime. Sign the petition here, please. Say no to the city council's absurd plans to find homeless people for sleeping rough a hundred pounds a time. How the hell does the council expect to find ho homeless people? If you had a hundred pounds in your pocket, you're probably going to go to your bed and breakfast for the night. Did you have an home for most of your life? Yes, well, I stood up with my wife and uh, she got the house, did she? Yeah, she got the house. And you got the pavement? Yeah, I got the pavement. You most certainly ain't going to be choosing to sleep rough in this sort of weather. Sign the petition here please. Homelessness is not a crime. Why is homelessness becoming a crime, Andy Abbott? Uh, the council have a plan to bring in something called a public space protection order. Now, the council claim that they're going to do this only if um, uh, homeless people are um, involved or are, are committing antisocial behaviour. But if you have to look at the, the wording of the PC. PO, what it actually does is give the council the powers um, to fine homeless people um, £100 if um, the rough sleeping results in antisocial behaviour. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the time, homeless people come under, come on the end of antisocial behaviour from other people, um, say from drunks, etc. Has anybody tried to help you at all? No. Have you been to the council? Yeah. What did they tell you? Oh, I've just got to wait till there's a place to come up for me. And you've been on the council waiting list for two years then? Yeah, now two years. Where do you sleep, William? I, I, well, I sleep in a sleeping bag anyway. In the park. Is it really cold out at the moment? Oh, yes. Where's, <laughs> have you found somewhere warm to sleep? Well, I just find it in the park. Now this sort of legislation actually then gives the powers uh, for the council to, uh, to find the homeless when they're the victim of the antisocial behaviour of others. We actually believe the real reason they're doing this is that they don't actually think that they're going to be ever successful in prosecuting homeless people and get on £100. What they're uh, more likely they want to do is a kind of social cleansing. Um, they don't want people coming through Chelmsford um, High Street and seeing homeless people here. They actually want to move the problem out of Chelmsford and we, this is why I believe that they're doing it. In the park? Yeah. There's no uh, radiators in the park, are there? No, no. So aren't there some uh, warmer spots than the park? No. Really? Yeah. There is, but you can't stay again. Yeah. Have you tried to stay with Chess? The homeless group. No. Have you have you heard of Chess? No, I haven't. Well, there is a homeless group called Chess, C A G W -S, S, yeah. uh, and they do help people. Yeah. So I'd suggest that you sort of get in contact with them. Um, yeah, okay. um, where would I mean if I gave them a ring now? Would you be here for a while? Oh yeah, I'll be here for a day. Have you heard of a pub called the, um, I think it's United Brethren? No. It's no. in Molsham Street. No, I know Molsham Street. Yeah, well, if you went to Molsham Street and asked for the Chess Homeless yeah. tonight, they would be able to point you in the right direction. It's off the back of Molsham Street where the car park is. Yeah, I know where it is. You know where it is? Yes, I know. Well, why it's don't you... It's all full up in there. It's all full up? What group are you with uh, regarding this petition? Um, well, we're a group that's been set up uh, specifically uh, to actually oppose this um, particular proposal from Chelmsford City Council. Um, we're now called Homelessness is Not a Crime. We've got our own Facebook page going by that name, so people can please uh, um, find us on uh, Facebook. That would be great. Have you stayed there for a few days, a few yes, weeks? Yes, a long time back. Right. Okay. Okay.
And and you wouldn't go back there, do you mean? Oh yeah, I'd go back there, but there's no room there. There's no room. Mm. But they've got, I thought they had three or four or even five homeless accommodation. No, they're all full up. It's the, the weather. Because of the weather. Okay, on the premise that uh, one homeless person has got a hundred quid stashed away, seriously, how are they going to extract Truppence from a homeless person. Well, this is, is exactly what we're saying. We don't think that they're ever going to uh, uh, um, uh, be able to get the hundred pounds out of people. Um, in fact, I mean, very interestingly, there was uh, a few weeks ago uh, a local councillor Grundy did a car crash of a television interview on the Sunday Politics programme East, where he actually admitted that they weren't. They, they didn't really have a hope in hell of ever being able to get a hundred pounds out of people who don't actually have anything because that's the whole reason they're sleeping rough is because they don't have anything it's just a silly and absurd plan and we think that the real ulterior motive is, is, is this form of social cleansing uh, to move homeless people off the streets of Chelmsford Have you got a spare hundred pound off you to, yeah. that you could pay a fine? <laughs> that's what I've got Oh bless This is a terrible end Do you, do you have any children that care for you? No. Right, so you split up two years ago from your wife yeah. um, and you're all alone and homeless. Yeah. Have you thought about doing doing away with yourself? You, you, you no. seem so depressed. No, you're, you're going to keep going? Yeah. Is it better, easier in the summer I suppose? Right. Thank, right. You. Thank you. Thanks mate. Are very people kind to you? Oh yeah, very kind. Give me tea. I don't think a homeless person uh, with a choice between a nice warm cell uh, and, a, yeah. and a couple of meals yeah. uh, would say, well, take me, copper. Yeah. Um, I'd like a stay at Her Majesty's pleasure. How much does it cost per homeless person to stay in prison well, exactly. per night? Exactly. A I mean, hundred pound? It would cost far more money to uh, to put people up in, uh, in in prison accommodation. In fact, it costs far more money to put people in prison accommodation than it does it would to provide affordable housing, social housing and council housing. Um, that's a real crisis that we have in this country. You must be the oldest... Um homeless person on the streets in Chelmsford <laughs> and you're sober as well you don't drink do you? No. I drink plenty of tea. Plenty of? Tea. <laughs> oh tea right. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say you've, you've got no savings then? No. Does your wife know you're on the streets? Yeah she don't want to know she got married again. Right. Why don't you have any savings? Did, 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 it, did you lose it all in the divorce? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to say. Well, I ain't much again, so. Okay. Mm.